Hi everyone, Jake's left here. Quick shout out to Proto Nerd for uh, creating the DIY Eno soundboard that's uh, in the Saber and uh, programmable, pretty awesome. Uh, enjoying it so far. Um, and to Nesqueak for uh, helping with the code. All right, so here is the Saber. So uh, what I was going for was uh, practical but elegant. Um, there's no. Uh, no real greeblies or anything to catch on my hand when I'm spinning this thing around. Uh, it's almost all entirely grip surface. So uh, we start uh, up here with the MHS uh, Style 2 blade holder. Go into a little grip section right here with the tape grip. Got your switch plate here with the uh, couple 12 millimeter AV switches and uh, the recharge port. And got a little uh, wood section here. Thought that made it look real classy. I, I like how that came out. I was really surprised how well that came out, actually. And, uh, you know, then your palm over here. And speakers down here. Got a 2 watt, uh, 28 millimeter speaker, uh, DOI Eno soundboard. And uh, it's a Tri Cree uh, RGB LED. So let's fire it up. That's the boot sound from uh, Lightsaber OS, by the way. Thanks, that's week. <laughs> All right. Got a lock up. And uh, some blaster blocks. Bottom it. There we go. motion activated uh, blaster blocks and uh, I've got a few different fonts on here I'm not gonna go through them all but just not carry this is one of my favorites cool Oh, on Kenobi. Uh, I, I used the same sound font in my uh, previous hippers. Alright. So, uh, let me demonstrate the menu system. I did a simplified menu system in this one. So, I hold in the uh, aux button. The aux button is the one that's, uh, that's not illuminated. So you can switch fonts by holding that in. So that's crucible. I thought this had kind of an old Republic feel to it, and you can see the uh, you know the blade shimmering. Some colors show it better than others, and I've got it disabled on the red uh, my, on the line. All right, let's go into the menu system. Hold the uh, activation switch. Alright, so you can set the volume higher by hitting the primary button and uh, hitting the aux to lower it. So let's crank it. When you get all the way as high as you can go, you'll start hearing clash sounds when you can't go any higher. You can decrease the volume by... And when it goes down to really low, you can barely hear it. Hear swing sounds. So let's crank it back up so you can hear it. I'll back it off a few from full. Um, I've only got a two watt speaker in it and the uh, set main blade color. Yeah, so this is where you set the blade color, but I've only got a two watt speaker in it and the amp can put out three watts, so I don't want to really run it full all the time because <laughs> I'll blow my speaker. Alright, so here you can set the color. Simplified. I don't have acknowledgement sounds or anything like that, but uh, you can cycle through whatever color you might like. Some faded colors there. Not going to spend a lot of time on this. There we go. 
Pick that, save that. Set flash color. Mix with the flash color, nice little yellow. Save. All right, that's it. So all other options are accessed uh, in code, but that's basically it. Let me give you a quick look inside the Saber. Uh, there's the DIY Eno right there. And you can see it's got a USB port on it, and right below that is the, uh, the SD card. So I can reach in there and install that, uh, you know, remove it, remove and install that SD card with some tweezers. But I can uh, plug right into the uh, USB um, with it in the hilt. And I did that so that I can make software updates whenever I want to. So that's, that's pretty nice. I like that freedom. And uh, I'll show you that in just a second. It looks really cool. It's got lights on and everything. So I've got uh, USB cable plugged into the DIY Eno, and the other end of the cable is going to get plugged into my computer. There it goes. Got lights. And it boots right up, and she's ready to go. So I've got the uh, Arduino IDE up, uh, you know, on off screen here. So I've got my uh, software. These are all my settings and overrides and stuff. It's all my code. All right, so just let that. I'm gonna put that down to the. Uh, hmm. Oh, I'm pushing the wrong button. Now it's uploading. You can see the uh, activity lights on the DOI, you know. Confirms that it's uploading the program. Now it's uploading the same program that's already on it, but I just wanted to demonstrate how easy this is uh, to put your Arduino code onto this board. And uh, when it's all done, it'll just stop blinking and should reboot and be all fine. There we go. So it's it's really that easy. Um, just plug it in and upload it just like it's any other Arduino board. Um, I just tell it it's a Arduino Nano or an Arduino Pro Mini at 16 megahertz. Uh, either one seems to work just fine. All right, that's it. Uh, thanks, guys, for taking a look at my uh, my saber, and uh, I'll put links in the description um, to uh, some open source. Uh, there's a complete open source uh, program uh, for the DIY Eno, um, and I'll also put links to uh, a library that I created, a Universal Saber library, to help you create your own uh, sketch for the board if you want to, or really a few different other hardware combinations as well. Um, Alright, thanks a lot guys. See you next time. Thanks for watching.